John Kelly on behalf of myself and uh, Sheba the Cat, which is a male Sheba. Where'd you learn to play concertina? Uh, way back in the start, near the start of this century. 19, maybe 18 or 19, from Uncle Tom Cairn. And it was all to do with this part of the country here? Certainly. Even in this very spot where we're sitting tonight, we performed. When he was a young man, court and girl, and I was a little garçon of 12 or 13 years of age, we sojourned together. They brought me. Because I loved him because he could play the concertina. My father was more of a, a working man. He loved music, but singing and all that, but he thought like that. Too much concertina playing and fiddle playing in the house wouldn't be good for farming. What is clear music? What's the essence of clear music for you? The love of it by the people. In one sentence. Music, I think, means more to clear people. That is, going back to the 50-odd, that would do, I, I'd be nearly ashamed to say that I go as far as 60, but better than years. I think it meant more to them than any race of people that I met in this country. I did meet Friedman from Sligo and other parts of Ireland. That music meant a lot, but not as much as, as, as what I saw in the eyes of the chairman when they got him to, they got him to sit there in the, in the, in the old flag floor with a few pints in them. And the, way they, the look in their eyes was something great. You've had a unique experience too, John, in that you brought Clare music to Dublin, and now and again you and your family bring Dublin Clare music back to Clare. Yes. That is true, too. Like, when I went to Dublin, I was frustrated uh, from many angles, but uh, I kept playing my fiddle, mm. and it was a great solace and comfort to me to play it. I was mad about it. My sister Nora here will, will, will tell you that I played one time that I left a pair of horses outside the, the field in front of the house that we were ploughing. And I, I, more again that I was going for a, a drink of water and a supper tea, and what was it? To lift a fiddle and play a passage of the a passage of a tune that I was trying to learn. And that was way back in 1928. The horse has never told in your house? No, the horse has never told in us. But uh, in Dublin, I brought that love of music with me. And now we own a part of Dublin. Hmm. It's all Irish music. And they come from far and near. And this is impromptu music. There is no covered chairs, there's no rise in the pint, but there's, and the very major call for order, all the men in that bar, maybe 150 of them sometimes, uh, men and women will stop up and listen to sing or listen to music. There is too a kindness and gentleness goes with the music. Yes, that is true, that is true. I, the finest men that I ever met that played uh, traditional I Irish music, genuine Irish music from the trade, like the speakers of Irish language. They had something wonderful in their in their the characters and their demeanour. I will just mention a few, like to be brief, like uh, Sean Reed of Ennis, mighty man, or Dennis Murphy of Kerry, or Willie Clancy of Clare, and uh, a host of other people like that. They were all great men that came up. The, the people, my friend Joe Ryan, the players at me in mm. Dublin, Andy Conroy, the piper. They were all put in the wrong way, the, the different men. There was another very unusual man you had an association with, Sean O'Reilly. Yes, yes, uh, Sean, Sean was uh, one of the greatest personality men that I ever met. I don't know why he linked up with myself anyway, but yeah, there was such an old-fashioned musician that he thought like that, uh, being from the cradle of music in my mind and the men I put, the, the, the type of music I portrayed, he thought like that I would that I could be a good help for him. But he in turn uh, uh, offered me some great things that I never thought existed. And above all the man, he was a, he was a, he was a great man. Like the, they always say separate the music from the man and the man from the music. And there's something wrong. The man and the music goes together. But he certainly had it. Now John, we're going to end our little visit on the travelling road show to Kilbaha with you playing clear music and the fiddle. Have you a fiddle handy by there? Well, I have it. You'll give, you'll have to give me a couple, couple of minutes. We'll have, of course. You'll have to the tune up, I suppose. Minute, you know, you know um, I often think that, that fiddles, they're a bit like 
pipes, they're like women. They have oh, to be yeah. tuned. My father go keep your call his wife the missus, and, but, but he wasn't married at all. The missus is feeling very bad. He says, I looked around it, out, up against the gable and into the house last night, and it rained all night, and she's in bad for it. That's it. Pussycat, the night is over. Night in Kilbaha has passed. It's been a wonderful day all in all, from the lighthouse to the end here with John Kelly playing his wonderful clear music. And we really also hope that you enjoyed the programme as we enjoyed it here, as much as we enjoyed being with our friends in the Banner County. Until the next time, from Donacha and his travelling roadshow, Slán Gafoil.